tie-downs are handy pieces of kit to transport a bike, but can be a pain to store if you don't have a garage and live in a tiny apartment. Personally, I don't think they take up too much space in the fridge, but if your other half gets upset with that, or they spark too much in the microwave, it's probably time to find a new storage facility, like the closet. Simply pull the strap to make it as short as possible and then loop it over the rail next to all the other coat hangers and hook it back on itself. Now they won't get in the way and it's a nice reminder of your bike every time you get dressed. Pretend that this is an adventure bike for a minute. No, wait, I think I have something more appropriate actually. Okay, pretend that this is an adventure bike or an MX bike depending on your chosen hobby. Well, the next time you want a photo of your pride and joy looking spick and span in its natural habitat, use this trick to keep even its tires clean for a photo. After giving it its usual bath, Give the tires special attention, not forgetting the sidewalls or any knob. Then, with the bike never leaving the stand, whip out the cling wrap or saran wrap if you're American and coat your tires in about three layers of it. Believe it or not, it's rather satisfying to do and kind of feels like you're putting tire warmers on, giving it a bit of a supermoto vibe. Now, with it looking strange, it can leave the stand and get loaded up. Take it to your chosen outdoor location where you can unload the bike and position it exactly where you want it for a photo without getting a speck of dirt on any part of the bike. Whip off the cling wrap and go ham getting all the photos of your factory looking bike in its natural habitat. And sticking on the bike photo topic, have you noticed how all new phones come with wide angle lenses? It seems to be pretty popular at the moment and I will admit bikes do look good with it. But if you're like me and spend all your money on bike toys rather than upgrading your 7 year old phone that only has a single shoddy camera, I might have the solution for you. Since you spend all your money on bike toys, you probably have one of these, which is 100% just a wide angle camera. So if you use your GoPro to get those trendy wide angle photos, Chances are no one will be able to tell that they weren't shot on the latest iPhone and you'll get another use for your GoPro. But if your problem isn't your photo equipment, but rather that you get kicked out of the places you want to take photos, you clearly haven't invested in a high-vis jacket. Because anyone wearing a high-vis jacket can get in anywhere they want. Trust me, I used it to film this video. Everyone just assumes you're working there and you're free to take photos of your bike wherever you fancy. I've mentioned that washing powder makes a great substitute hand cleaner in a previous hack video. But there's another reason you should keep some in your garage. If you ever run out of air filter cleaner, washing powder is far more effective at the job than you'd expect. It's meant to be soft on clothes, but that's why it's good for air filters too because it doesn't damage the foam, but is still capable of breaking down oil and removing dirt, leaving your filters clean and smelling like your laundry for less than the price of proper air filter cleaners. We've all had an annoying leaky fork seal that needs to be replaced. But have you ever had one the night before a track day or an important ride you don't want to miss? Something like the seal mate might seem like a good idea, but rather overpriced for a piece of plastic. So in a pinch, grab a milk bottle, sketch out the shape of the seal mate on the bottle and cut it out. Then pull down your dust seal or two if you're like me, give your DIY seal mate some lube and gently slide it in between the stanchion and fork seal. Make a full revolution around the stanchion in the direction of the hook and then pull it out from the seal, hopefully taking whatever was lodged in the seal causing it to leak with it. Put it all back the way you found it and then hold the front brake while compressing the forks a few times to seat the seal. 
and hopefully, if the seal isn't too far gone, having the debris removed should stop the leak for long enough to enjoy your track day. However, when you get back from the track day, instead of leaving your sweaty boots lying around, for a puddle of sweat to form in the soles of them, tip a chair upside down and place each boot over one of the legs. This way, the sweat will pour out, helping them dry faster and smell better the next time you wear them. Although, there's usually not much hope for bike boots. It's always nice to have water when riding, especially on a hot day. But the water sloshing around in a hydration pack can be annoying enough to just live with being thirsty. However, there's actually a simple fix. Once you've filled it, tip the bladder upside down and take big sips until you start getting water through the hose. This way, all the air rises to the top and can be sucked out of the hose. And once there's no more air, there's no more sloshing around. If you want your gear changes to feel brand new, simply tension your chain properly. It's that simple. However, if you're putting off adjusting your chain, because it means you have to align your rear wheel with these useless markings on the swing arm and axle blocks, then I completely understand. They make the job much more painful than it needs to be and aren't very accurate at all, considering the angle you look at the markings can change everything. Luckily, a couple of you guys suggested ditching the markings altogether and using vernier calipers to measure the gap between the axle block and swing arm. After all, this method is easier, faster, and more accurate. Another subscriber suggested tip is for keeping track of where different length bolts go while working on your bike. We've all lost track of which bolt goes where, and it can be rather frustrating. So next time, grab a piece of cardboard before you remove any bolts. Then, as they come out, press them into the cardboard in the pattern they were removed. It's so foolproof that you can't even accidentally trip over them and spread them all around the garage. But anyway, which is your favorite hack? If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe and share it with a mate. Better yet, hit the like button and give me some of your hack suggestions down in the comments. And I'll see you on the next ride.